Hi guys, this is Saurav Goswami and welcome to the Organic Reaction Mechanism series, episode 2 or you can say the session 2. In this session, we would be discussing the Wagner-Mervin rearrangement and this is in continuity with session 1 in which we learnt how to write uh, a mechanism correctly, what to do and what not to do, what bonds to break, in which medium to consider, what are the different criterions, what, what is hypervalence and when to avoid it and that was the foundation on which we are building up these next series videos and this is, this is an ongoing series okay so we would be taking up all the named reactions uske baad hum log bahut sare non named reactions bhi karenge to ek ongoing series rahega so always for reference you should all uh, like if you are starting today please go back to the previous video so as to learn the basics because that is from where the foundation is being built now in this video we would be learning a very very simple and a very very important reaction which is known as the Wagner-Mervin rearrangement and Wagner-Mervin rearrangement is also commonly known as carbocation rearrangement so without wasting any more time let's start with the session and let's start with who these guys are who first identified this kind of a rearrangement this rearrangement for the very first time was identified by Igor Wagner. Igor Wagner suggested that there is a biosynthesis of isoborneol taken into camphene. This is a nature make reaction. Hota hai. And this reaction ko study bahut logo ne karne koshish ki thi. But Igor Wagner was the first person to clearly suggest what must be happening within the course of the change of the structure of isoborneol to camphene. ये दो लोग कंपाउंड्स एक सर्टेन क्लास ऑफ कंपाउंड्स को बिलोंग करते हैं व्हिच आर नोन एज टर्पीन्स और टर्पेनॉइड्स दीस टर्पीन्स आर फ्रेग्रेंट स्पीशीज इनमें काफी खुशबू रहती है दे हैव अ लॉट ऑफ एरोमा लाइक द स्मेल ऑफ लेमन और ऑरेंज इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ टर्पीन सो इन कंपाउंड्स में भी देयर इज अ हिंट ऑफ अ स्मेल ऑफ कैम्फर Camphene is suggested to smell slightly like wood as well, moist wood as well. And uh, Igor Wagner was the first person to suggest that how is this transformation taking place. Hans Mervin, a German chemist, suggested that whatever was prophesized by Igor Wagner can also be extended to simpler compounds. So both of these guys are because of this credited for uh, suggesting a um, very profoundly present rearrangement in biosynthesis as well as in organic chemistry that is carbocation rearrangement. Dekhte hain ye rearrangement hota kya hai. So the Wagner-Mervin rearrangement is a rearrangement of the skeleton of the carbocation. That means you take a carbocation and you rearrange different parts of the carbocation you end up getting a rearranged system which is known as Wagner-Mervin rearrangement. Rearrangement ka matlab ye hota hai ki let's say I <coughs> shift the position of few things. So there is a bookshelf, I take a book from a particular rack and keep it in a different rack. That is rearrangement. Okay. That is not, re that is not completely removal of something. That is just re rearrangement of a particular bookshelf in a per given manner. Now I can have different choices. Hum bookshelf ko either titles ke hisaab se arrange kar sakte hain. I can arrange books by considering the year. I can, I can, uh, I can divide the books in terms of the genre to which they belong. Ho sakta fiction ko belong karte hain. Sciences ko belong karte hain. Management ko belong karte hain. Computer science ko belong karte hain. I can divide it like that. So in all these cases rearrangement is taking place even in a carbocation such a rearrangement occurs and in this rearrangement some groups move from one point to another point and we'll see later that why this movement takes place so before moving ahead let's read whatever is written over here so reactions involving the change in carbocation uh, in the carbon skeleton through rearrangement of carbocation okay now, this is what a carbocation looks like. Okay, this is what a carbocation looks like. 
So a carbocation is a species in which carbon has a positive charge. It is connected to three different groups R1, R2 and R3 can be hydrogen, alkyl or aryl. Okay. These can be hydrogen or alkyl or aryl. Aryl means the aromatic system. R means CH3 alkyl unit. Hydrogen ya fir deuterium bhi aprak sakte ho. Kuch bhi aprak sakte ho. Iske saath kuch bhi attached hai and carbon ke upar positive charge rahega. Ho hum usko carbocation bolenge. If I go for the uh, few features of this carbocation then it is the electron deficient. Carbon ke upar positive charge hai. It has six electrons in the valence shell. So it is an electron deficient species. Hybridization is sp2. Dekh lije. 1, 2, 3, 3 sigma bonds. Hybridization is sp2. Geometry is planar. It's a flat unit. And a p orbital. What this is? This is a p orbital. An empty p orbital. Humne yahan se electrons pure nikal diya aur empty p orbital. It is stabilized by aromaticity, resonance and hyperconjugation. In the Epic GOC series, you must have read about what is aromaticity, what is resonance and what is hyperconjugation. An aromatic carbocation will look something like this. This is an aromatic carbocation. Dekhe? 4n plus 2 pi electron rule ko follow kar raha hai. Baki sare rules ko bhi follow kar raha hai. Cyclic 2 pi electrons hai with, uh, in which is following 4n plus 2 pi electron rule where n is equal to 0. Delocalization is present. So this is an aromatic carbocation. Resonance stabilized carbocation will be something like this. This is a resonance stabilized carbocation. Hyperconjugation stabilized carbocation will be something like this. It has six hyperconjugated forms. Okay, so these are the few features of carbocation. Okay, also carbocations are involved in substitution elimination reactions. Isko yaad Aage chal ke humne substitution and elimination reaction padna hai. And when we would be studying these substitution and elimination reactions, it will be imperative to invoke the idea that wagner mervin rearrangement will take place. So if you see in a substitution or a elimination reaction, a carbocation getting formed, to jahan bhi carbocation ban raha hai, wahan pe wagner mervin rearrangement hoga. Okay? So let's see in which cases wagner mervin rearrangement will take place. Or what will be the requirement so way in which reactions carbocation gets formed we were discussing carbocation will be formed when there is a heterolytic fission between carbon um, heterolytic fission of the bond connected between carbon and a more electronegative atom so now let's see just a moment so this x we can see that the electrons are moving towards X and if this happens what will be generated R1 R2 R3 the be a positive charge and an X minus will be given out okay now this X like let's say this fission takes place what can be the various species which if are connected to carbon may result in the formation of carbocation so first species will be halogens so x can be x can be chlorine bromine iodine x can also be OH or OR ठीक है अगर क्लोरीन ब्रोमीन और आयोडीन है सो जब भी आप ये बॉन्ड ब्रेक कर रहे हैं व्हेनेवर यू आर ब्रेकिंग अ बॉन्ड सो यू आर गेटिंग x- x- तो कहीं जाएगा x- तो कौन लेगा सो so, x- minus is nucleophilic कैन आई से दैट x- is nucleophilic 
and this is electrophilic so x minus f is nucleophilic nucleophilic species ko lene ke liye hame ek electrophilic species chahiye now carbocation hi wapas usko le leta then what would happen is the reaction move in the backward direction i'll not ever be getting what i intend to get so our objective to like i had always told you that bond does not break on its own there must be an impulse there must be an impulse so the impulse is some species facilitate the removal of this x group the entities which facilitate the removal of x group depends on what is the nature of x the groups can be al cl3 or a or fe x3 x can be halogen or fe x2 okay agar hame inko nikalna hai then i need h plus or any lewis acid so if i have to remove these groups then it has to be facilitated by some other substances which should be present in the medium and if this group is chlorine bromine iodine halogen then we will be taking some groups like alcl3 these are also lewis acids these are electrophilic substances so they will be very well interested to take this x minus same goes for oh or h plus agar hum lete to inka removal hamare liye easy ho jayega so once this gets removed i'll get a, a carbon with a positive charge the same goes over here this reaction we had learned in the last class as well if there is a electrophile this electrophile could be this electrophile could be h plus okay सबसे सिंपल हम इलेक्ट्रोफाइल लेते हैं दिस इलेक्ट्रोफाइल कुड बी एच प्लस इफ दिस इलेक्ट्रोफाइल एड्स अप टू दिस डबल बॉन्ड वन ऑफ द कार्बन विल बिकम अ कार्बोकटाइन ओके सो वन ऑफ द कार्बन विल बिकम अ कार्बोकटाइन इट लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस आर फोर दिस इज आर थ्री एक चीज का याद रखिए कि वेन ए मल्टीपल बॉन्ड रियक्ट विद एच प्लस in a number of books it is written that in multiple bond reacts with h plus carbocation is generated but it is always to important to know that not all double bonded units will generate a carbocation like c triple bond c will not generate a carbocation c double bond o and c double bond n will also do not generate a carbocation this is important to know so c double bond o if reacts with h plus h plus is electrophilic oxygen is nucleophilic so h plus will go to oxygen how would the reaction take place this arrow yaad hai aapko humne curved arrow banana sikha tha i will be getting something like this c double bond o h yeah a positive charge rahega iska ek resonating structures structure bhi hum bana sakte hain its resonating structure will look something like this oh now which is the more stable resonating structure the more stable resonating structure will be this one because more number of bonds greater number of atoms more number of atoms are having complete octet so this structure is less stable the same goes for carbon with nitrogen so this is a pro tip okay so with keeping this in mind let's move on to what happens next so wagner mervin rearrangement was first studied for the following two scenarios the very first study was done for isoborneol and isoborneol when converts into camphene in presence of h plus this wagner mervin rearrangement takes place you can see that we have removed few parts and we have rearranged the whole molecule is case mein bhi aap dekh rahe ho when this is this is a neopentyl bromide molecule neopentyl bromide when reacts with aqueous koh we are forming a 3 degree alcohol this is 3 degree alcohol and we are forming a 1 degree alcohol so it seems like the 1 degree alcohol is formed by replacement of bromine एट द सेम वेरी कार्बन लाइक इसी कार्बन पे हमने ओ एच को ला के लगा दिया है ओके 
and the three degree alcohol seems like bromine ko hadaya, bromine is removed this ch3 is moved over here and oh is then attached over here so what is the mechanism behind this reaction let's study the mechanism behind this reaction so wagner mervin rearrangement involves movement of alkyl aryl or hydrogen or better to say hydride from the adjacent position of a carbocation if the moment you form a carbocation you have to make it stable what is the driving force stability agar ek carbocation less stable bana hai then it will try to become more stable by undergoing this rearrangement how do we plan this out kaise hum explain karenge so <clears throat> let's try to work out the pre first case so hamare paas ek neopentyl bromide molecule hai oh ke presence mein reaction ho raha hai the first step would be the first step would be lysis of this if the lysis of carbon bromine bond takes place carbon bromine bond is fairly polar that it can undergo lysis in a polar medium so i will get ch3 c ch3 ch3 ch2 with a positive charge i'll get something like this now at this point there are two possibilities which can occur either isi point pe ye oh minus ke sath react kar jaye okay and generates this molecule or it can undergo One comma two M E shift. It is actually M E minus which is shifting. This carb methyl moves over here. अगर ये मिथाइल यहां पे आता है देन कार्बन विथ अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज शुड कंबाइन विथ अ कार्बन विथ अ नेगेटिव चार्ज दैट इज द रीजन दिस इज नोन एज एम ई माइनस विच इज शिफ्टिंग इफ एम ई माइनस शिफ्ट देन कार्बन गेट्स द कार्बन टू विच एम ई वॉज अटैच विल गेट अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो वट आई विल बी ऑप्टेनिंग दिस समथिंग लाइक दिस This is a rearranged carbocation. आप देख रहे हो कि ये जो हमने सिस्टम लिया था उसको हमने रीअरेंज कर लिया ना रीअरेंजमेंट को इस तरह से समझिए कि वेन अ टीचर वॉक्स इन टू अ क्लास एंड लेट से द टीचर इज अ रियली स्ट्रिक्ट वन एंड ही सद अनाउंस दैट ओके टूडे वुड बी अ सरप्राइज टेस्ट ना द मोमेंट यू हियर अबाउट सरप्राइज टेस्ट सरप्राइज टेस्ट सुन के आपको क्या लगता है कि यार क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट होगा हम नहीं आंसर कर पाएंगे आई गेट लेस मार्क्स सो व्हाट यू डू इज यू रिक्वेस्ट द टीचर टू गिव यू अ स्मॉल विंडो पीरियड ऑफ सम मिनट्स टू रिवाइज थिंग्स वेरी क्विकली टीचर विल गिव यू विंडो पीरियड ऑफ अबाउट टू मिनट्स थ्री मिनट्स फाइव मिनट्स ओके इन अ रिएक्शन सिस्टम एज वेल विद इन अ रिएक्शन वेसल ये विंडो पीरियड भी मिलता है एंड दिस विंडो पीरियड कम्स फ्रॉम कम्स इन द नेचर ऑफ रीअरेंजमेंट नाउ दिस विंडो पीरियड इज given to the molecule before any further reaction takes place so that it becomes slightly more stable slightly more stable so one time rearrangement hoga matlab ki jaise hi carbocation bana uske baad rearrangement hoga ab aisa nahi ki aap rearrange karne ke liye pura samay lete rahoge okay that is not going to happen so it it's a very very fast process this step is known as a wagner mervin rearrangement at this point it will later on react with oh minus to form a molecule like this okay so what was the driving force let's look at the num this carbocation this carbocation has 3 plus 3 plus 2 8 hyper conjugative structures zero hyper conjugative structures so getting more stability is always the driving force and if this stability can be achieved by moving one group from an adjacent position one two ka matlab 
if this is if this position is labeled as one then this position will become two तो हमने क्या किया कि वन के पास ग्रुप लेके गए किस पोजीशन से पोजीशन नंबर टू से ओके सो सेम गोज ओवर हेयर इफ आई रिएक्टेड विथ एच टू एसओ फोर इट्स लुक एट वॉट विल हैपन इफ आई रिएक्ट दिस मॉलिकल न्यू पेंटाइल एल्कोहल इफ इज बिंग रिएक्टेड विथ एच टू एसओ फोर then if new pentyl alcohol is reacted with h2so4 then this will happen ch3 c ch3 ch3 ch2 oh which takes up a proton becomes oh2 and goes out the moment oxygen will acquire a positive charge it will try to go away from the molecule if it leaves the molecule it will become so what at this point of time aapko karna kya hai aapko ye decide karna hai ki agar main adjacent point se ek group ko move karu is carbocation pe then will i be getting a more stable carbocation or not if you are getting a more stable carbocation then a wagner marvin rearrangement would take place without a doubt wagner marvin rearrangement would take place so iska hum agar re rearrangement karaye wagner marvin rearrangement then this methyl will shift over here and i will be getting this carbocation okay i will be getting this carbocation rather than drawing expanded formula i have drawn bond line formula after this point when h2so4 is taken this reaction h2so4 in presence of heat is a elimination reaction there is an elimination reaction in a elimination reaction what will happen is a proton would be lost in the end of the reaction this was discussed in the previous class as well and we would end up getting two products okay the products are obtained as a result of carbocation rearrangement okay let's move ahead let's look at these questions so we have to identify that what will be the rearranged carbocation okay प्रोडक्ट आप भी आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं बट आर माई ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू हेल्प यू आइडेंटिफाई वॉट विल बी द रीअरेंज काबोकटाइन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन एक्वस के ओ एच एल्काइल हेलाइड आप करना क्या वॉट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू यू हैव टू ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड इफ यू ब्रेक दिस बॉन्ड यूल गेट अ carbocation like this now there is a competition you can see that there is a hydrogen over here and there is a methyl over here now when the, whenever there is a competition between two groups which can move aapko ye plan karna hoga ki kaun sa move karega and this comes from something known as migratory aptitude migratory aptitude measures the ability of group to migrate so between methyl and hydrogen between methyl and hydrogen it will always be hydrogen that will migrate wo migrate karega which will give a more stable carbocation so between these two between these two h will migrate to form this okay so remember migratory aptitude of hydride is more than that of methyl okay after this point it is your homework to write the product product kya hoga you can see aqueous koh 
सो मीडियम में ओ एच माइनस की अमाउंट बहुत ज्यादा है क्योंकि आपने बेस डाल के रखा है सो वट विल हैपीनेस इट विल रिएक्ट विद दिस ओ एच माइनस विल रिएक्ट विद दिस टू फॉर्म एन एल्कोहॉल ओके इवन इफ यू आर गोइंग अप टू दिस स्टेप एंड यू आर नॉट गेटिंग दिस स्टेप दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ये आप धीरे धीरे सीख जाओगे नेक्स्ट वाले केस में नाउ विल कार्बोकेट एंड रीअरेंजमेंट ऑलवेज टेक प्लेस नॉट ने इट कुड बी पॉसिबल दैट एट द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ द रिएक्शन आई एम गेटिंग अ कार्बोकेट एंड विच इज फेयरली स्टेबल सो लेट्स लुक एट द सेकेंड केस विच इज ऑफ दैट वन सो आई गेट अ कार्बोकेट एंड आई एम जस्ट ड्रॉइंग द बॉन्ड लाइन फॉर्मूला दिस इज एम ई दिस इज एम ई and we are getting a carb positive charge which is next to ph so this carbocation is benzylic this carbocation is benzylic benzylic carbocation is fairly stable so it will not undergo rearrangement so remember carbocation rearrangement will take place only when there is a need agar ek acha student hai usko surprise test mila uski preparation mein koi dikkat nahi wo aaram se without last minute revision karke bhi examination de dega जिसको लास्ट बेंजाइलिक इज लाइक समथिंग विच ऑलरेडी हैज अ फेयरली गुड डिग्री ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी सो इट विल नॉट अंडर गो एनी रीअरेंजमेंट सो इफ यू ट्राई टू परफॉर्म अ रीअरेंजमेंट एंड मेक दिस लाइक यू परफॉर्म वन टू हाइड्राइट शिफ्ट एंड यू ट्राई टू मेक समथिंग लाइक दिस आपने यहां से हाइड्रोजन यहां ला दिया इफ यू ट्राई टू मेक समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट विल बी इन करेक्ट बिकॉज दिस कार्बोकेटाइन इज लेस स्टेबल देन बेंजाइलिक कार्बोकेटाइन ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन सो इन द नेक्स्ट वन व्हाट वी वुड डू इज देर इज एच बी आर देर इज दिस एल्कीन सो एच बी आर विल जनरेट इलेक्ट्रोफाइल दैट इज एच प्लस and the alkene will take up that h plus ion so this will take up i'll draw an arrow like this and remember arrows should be always drawn in the same direction i'll get a carbocation like this can it undergo rearrangement yes because this is a 2 degree carbocation if it rearranges to this position i'll get a 3 degree carbocation competition is between hydrogen and methyl okay competition is between hydrogen and methyl and if competition is between hydrogen and methyl which will migrate hydrogen will migrate and we would be obtaining me me plus this and then yahan pe aap br minus laga dijiye You attach Br minus over there. You get product. Is this clear? Now the last one is most interesting. Last one, आपने GOC में भी इसके बारे में पढ़ा है. Last one involves something known as a ring expansion. ये ring expansion होता क्या है? so if i take this alkene and react with hbr i know for a fact that i will be getting this carbocation why won't the other carbocation be formed because obviously the other carbocation if is generated at this point position will be less stable than the carbocation which is generated at this position so we'll always try to form more stable species but even at this point even at this position it is not quite stable if this is carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 3 4 5 6 then these sigma electrons will move in this direction so what you would get is try to draw the ugly version first and the beautiful version bana lijiyega i'll draw this there's a carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 Six, and this becomes this acquires a positive charge. Why carbon number two acquires a positive charge? Because I am forming a bond between one and six. I am forming a bond between one and six. So 
I have to break the bond between 2 and 6. Okay. 1 and 6 ke ba ka bond banane ke liye mujhe 2 and 6 ka bond break karna padega. And this is known as ring expansion. If ring expansion takes place, these num this numbering is not in accordance to IOPAC nomenclature. Just maine ek numbering kiya. And numbering karna achha rata hai so that you do not miss out on the number uh, where a group is present in a particular cyclic unit. So what you would obtain is something like this and after ring expansion one wagner mervin rearrangement will take place isko yaad rakhiye after ring expansion one wagner mervin rearrangement will take place and rearrangement hoga ye hydrogen yahan pe move kar jayega and we would be getting this carbocation which would now react with br to give an appropriate product so it will react with br and br will get attached at this carbon atom so in this part we learned that there is something known as migratory aptitude now migratory aptitude if there is a competition between phenyl methyl and hydride agar in tino ke beech mein agar competition hai then then the order will be hydride migration will be faster than phenyl migration which will be faster than methyl migration so, yaad rakhiye migratory aptitude i'll write over here so migratory aptitude is hydride more than phenyl more than methyl bahut sare cases my migratory aptitude ab padhoge and in all these cases in all these cases uh, different migratory aptitude arise because of the nature of reaction so in a wagner mervin rearrangement this is the migratory aptitude if there is a phenyl with an electron donating group and a phenyl with an electron withdrawing group then whatever can donate electrons to a greater extent will be able to migrate to a faster extent so <coughs> ph minus with electron donating group will migrate faster than ph minus with electron withdrawing group so this is one order this is an another order okay let's move ahead so this is the last part of today's topic in this part i will try to explain how isoborneol was converted to camphene it's a very very simple reaction okay now when you react this with h plus what will happen firstly oxygen will take up this h plus and will convert into oh2 plus then this bond will break because Rule of thumb kya hai? Jaise hi oxygen pe positive charge aaya, apne bond break kar dena hai uska. If there is OH2, you have to remove it as water. I will be getting a carbocation like this. Okay? Now, what happens is a very special type of rearrangement. This bond moves over here. This bond. This one. I'm labeling this bond over here in all the molecules, all the structures. Okay. So this bond moves. So that is the reason of the big bond. So what will I draw?
I will be getting a positive charge over here and then it's a very simple step मुझे एल मुझे एक प्रोटॉन खींच के बाहर निकाल देना है आई हैव टू रिमूव अ प्रोटॉन एंड प्रोटॉन विल बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दैट पोजिशन एडजस्ट टू द पॉजिटिव चार्ज आई विल बी गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस Okay, now I just have to like reorganize the system and draw it in this manner. What I will do is, I will look at this part. <coughs> I will look at this part. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six-membered ring. This part becomes the bridge. this becomes ch2 so this point has been changed over here and this point has been changed into this okay so this was all about wagner mervin rearrangement you have to remember wagner mervin rearrangement as carbocation rearrangement migratory aptitude so that in the next few sessions wherever we would come across carbocations wherever you see carbocations you have to you have to remember that some rearrangement would take place okay so with this we wind up today's session and we'll meet in the next session where we would be discussing allylic rearrangement and another associated types of rearrangement of carbocations and where we would be learning a few extended applications of wagner mervin rearrangement as well So this is sort of Goswami signing off, and I hope you learned something new today. In the end, please do re-solve the same questions again, and let me know if you have any queries. Thank you, guys, and I hope you have a very nice day ahead. Bye bye.